What's up guys? Today we're gonna to be showing you how to properly install a new drum head. Here with me today is Andy's music. Going to help me out, like, show stuff and stuff. Alright, let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna need to get a drum key like this. You see these like, this, these pegs? What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna insert it and twist each one of these to be able to install this new one, okay? So let's get started. We're gonna start twisting. Oh shit, my hand's slipping. It's fine, we can still use this, it's fine. But that brings us to our next good tip, which is breaking in your drum head. Guys, so when you first get your fresh new drum head, the thing is, it's a bit too fresh, too crispy, like a shoe, you know, you gotta break it in. So here, this next sequence, we'll tell you just how to do that. Okay, so basically, we're gonna start breaking it in with a simple exercise that you can do at home. So let's start. You ready? Yeah. We are professionals, so please watch closely. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> ah. That's how you break in a frisbee, I mean a drum head professionally. So watch carefully. Oh jeez. Seriously? Oh I fell. Oh. You ready? You ready? Yeah. Oh shoot. And now we have officially broken in our drum head. Now keep in mind the snow actually helps to get a tighter and better, crunchier, snappier sound. So try to keep, oh, I'm probably out of frame. So by using snow or cold objects, it'll give it a better sound. So this is why we're using it in the snow. All right, now let's start breaking it in the next area. So our next point of business is now that we've like, we've kind of like crunched it up a little. So now we have to smoothen it out. And how we're gonna do it is with the technique that the old Romans used to do with their old bongos and drums and bongs and stuff. So this, this is how it's gonna be. Yeah, I didn't study the Romans very well, so I'm not sure. <laughs> that did not work. Ow. I'm so mad at the Romans right now. No, I'm playing, I'm playing. Oh yeah, good idea. This is another technique that the Greeks, that the popular philosopher uh, Aristotle, Aristotle used or something, I forgot his name. And that concludes the smoothing out portion of the drum head tutorial. Now that you smooth it out, you gotta make sure that it doesn't have too round of a shape. Cause you know, you can never get something perfectly round. So you gotta make sure it's just, you know, a little bit off. See, the best technique for this, if you stand back, um, so obviously there's this hard metal rim. The best technique to bend it is to just simply kind of... You take a shot. Come on. Go on. Bro, that's loud. So after these steps, your drum head should look more or less like this. Let's show them. Okay. See, now this is what we want it to start looking like. See these wrinkles? That's good. That means it's getting like used in. That will give us a better sound in the end. Now, after all of this, it's almost ready to start playing and getting installed. But first we gotta like 
We gotta test if like it's good quality, you know? Cause like what if they gave you a faulty one? Alright, so now we're gonna be like testing to see if it's actually good quality. As you see guys, this one was not good quality. No, so that's sir. why it broke. Nonetheless, we will continue teaching how to use it. This technique is actually known as the oh, double diggy punchy. I learned it when I was in preschool, so I'm pretty much an expert on it. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh. It worked. Ow. So now we'll be testing it out now that we know it's it's not the best quality, but you know, you sometimes you just have to do with what you have. So one, two, three, four. You can't quit on me. You hired me. What the freak? <laughs>